Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the next part of Back to the Future the video game, episode 4. And when we last left off, we had traveled back to try and break up Emmett and Edna. But due to malfunctions with the DeLorean, we had traveled back too far. And we ended up with us being late for the expo for the inventions of tomorrow and now we need to try and find a way to get to Emmett's house to I guess try and convince him to break up with Edna but we need a car or at least we need a vehicle to try and get there and we couldn't find one because Doc wouldn't let us borrow the DeLorean so let's just try and figure out how to I suppose we could walk you know or what else? Do we have a hoverboard? Do we have the hoverboard? Interesting. Anyway, let's get stuck back into the game. I hope you're enjoying it. Be sure to like and subscribe. We very much appreciate it. And let us continue on. Alright, so how are we to get here? We need a vehicle. I mean, is there anything about this vehicle that we can try and do? We can't get in the front door because your man's standing there with a stick up his arse. Seriously, I am not stealing this truck. We're not stealing, Marty. We're borrowing. Can you on the front door? Yeah? Nope. When does the expo Not open? Not tonight. Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not tonight. Okay, Any... yep, 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 yep. Okay. Need something to ride. Need something to ride. Something. How did you two get here? You obviously you're bound to have had something to get here. Hey, Artie. Can't talk right now. I was thinking. Do you have a transport vehicle? Uh, hit him. Slam down. I talked to Trixie. Yeah. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. They well, did. they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it, allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? Oh dear, she's going oh, to see the manager. These people are impossible. Hmm. Let's see. Uh... Maybe we can do something with that. Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Uh, same Does it. it. But try mm. telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Still, I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... his invention. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it as your first word. R. You get her fired in a heartbeat. Hmm, I'm wondering, can we do something with that? Because maybe if she's trying to get her fired, then Trixie will help us get back at Edna. So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. 
The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. Really? Okay. That's nice. all the questions I got. Very well, all. then. How about you? Have you got any questions for me? Uh, no. Then kindly let me pass. I am afraid I can't until I've located your registration form. Oh, this is absurd. Where's the manager? <laughs> All right, do we have anything? I don't know what the hell we do with this. If you squint, it almost kind of looks like a big diamond. Okay, extra five strengths, dark notebook. Don't know what that'd be used for. Guitar. Hmm. I'm not gonna give a diamond to Edna. Maybe we give the diamond to Trixie and then said she stole it. I don't have any reason to give a fake diamond to Trixie. I suggested a little scheme to Trixie, but I don't know if she's gonna go along with it. Pursue whatever strategies you like, but please don't tell me the details. I'm trying to pursue the fact of strategies if you would let me take the car. I'm having trouble finding another set of wheels. Are you sure I can't? Not until I finish running these tests. Perhaps an electric commuter train. This is 1931, remember? Oh, right. Well, I'm sure you'll find something. Thanks, Doc. So, what do we do about Edna? Only one thing we can do. Lie. Make me out to be a less desirable catch than I really am. Why would she believe me? She said she knows you inside and out. Then you'll have to resort to skullduggery. You've done it before. You ought to be getting good at it by now. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I am. Okay, right. We need to find something. Cars of... Come oh. see the cars brought to you by Statler DeSoto. Oh. Oh, it's fucking skateboard. My future wouldn't be built so shoddily. Uh, hi, Miss Strickland. I've seen your future. I was just... Break what you like, Mr. Corleone. It's no skin off my nose. Just keep away from Emmett's booth. Speaking of whom, I'd better go see what's keeping him. Um... I'll go check on him for you. I was just heading there anyway. No, you weren't. The last thing he needs is another distraction at the 11th hour. But... Tut -tut. Not another word. I've got the rest of the day all mapped out. Miss Strickland! Uh, thanks, Doc. Talk to your wife. I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. Heavens, you've shaved off your hair, but... Carl Sagan? I'd like a word with you, if I may. I'm not sure it would be seemly for me to be seen in the company of an alleged arsonist. I think it may be in your best interest. You see... Let's go somewhere where we can talk privately. Go. I'll keep her occupied till you get back. Doc, that's disgusting. I mean, it is with your wife, so whatever, right? Let's get the hell out of here with this train skateboard, yeah. Hang on, Emmett. Hope you're ready for a big breakup. Ah, the old hanging on the back of the car routine. Thanks again for your assistance, Detective Parker. Detective? What the hell is Kid doing here? Nothing criminal, I assure you. I was just getting a mind map of Mr. Tannen for our exhibition at the Expo. The authorities wouldn't allow Edna and I to stage a demonstration of the mental alignment meter with a violent felon, but this little baby is just as good. Okay, let's see now, what's next? Check the stew, sort the maps. Ooh, I almost forgot that. Edna really is cracking the whip, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Well, yes, but Whoop -ha. she's got my best interests at heart. Without her, I can get so distracted. Did she send you down here to check up on me? Uh, yeah, she wanted to come herself, but... She's busy too, I know. Well, you're a poor substitute for Edna's lovely features. Thanks. Make yourself at home. Thanks. It breaks my heart, No Emma. thanks are necessary. Without you, I'd never be where I am now. In love with a woman of my dreams. And a mere six hours from my first public triumph as a scientist. Wait a minute. Six hours? Jumping Jehoshaphat, I'm running out of time! Five hours, 59, must be precise. Okay. 
Where the hell are you going? How does the mental alignment thing work? Here, I'll show you. Hey. The test subject wears this mind mapping helmet, which probes the brain by measuring fluctuations in skin conductance and electrical resistance on the surface of the parietal lobe. Uh huh. I was just about to say that. When I turn on the mind mapping helmet with this radio switch, the subject is exposed to a series of visual stimuli intended to provoke a series of positive or negative responses, as indicated by these lights on the helmet. Oh, man, you're talking. Yeah. As the responses are recorded, they're relayed to this special typewriter, which prints out a punch card that represents the subject's mind map. All I see is a bunch of holes. Well, to you, maybe. But to our mental alignment meter, this mind map is nothing less than a peek into your subconscious. Observe, as I place your mind map into the MAM. Layabout. Is that machine calling me a slacker? No, your own physiological responses did. I want a second opinion. I demand a recount. What's this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Oh, Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is disgusting. Would you mind disposing of it on your way out? Uh, sure. By putting it into our pockets, uh huh. Alright, turn over here, select the maps. Fish tank. How goes the bacteria farm? Not so hot. The bacteria have kind of gotten out of control. I had to put a clamp on the nitrogen tube to keep the stench from flooding the lab. Damn bacteria. Ew. Oh, did the <laughs> clamp fall off again? <laughs> um, yeah. Put it back on. Well, oh, I don't even know why I keep that bacteria tank around. Every time the clamp falls off the nitrogen tube, it takes a couple of minutes before I can get the stench out of the air. Whew. What's this typewriter do again? During a mental alignment test, it takes messages from the mind map helmet and turns them into punch cards. Like the one for Mr. Tannen over there. Seems oh. complicated. Actually, it was all rather easy to put together. Once Edna gave me the idea. Sounds to me like you should be working on harder problems then. What? Uh, sorry, I've got to get back to work. Mm -hmm. What's this? The mind map cards from the dozens of subjects I've tested during the last few weeks. I've got to get them sorted before the expo begins. Why? Edna's got this grand scheme to catalog all of Hill Valley citizens by their mental alignment. Isn't that cute? Not really. Yeah, I've seen what I can do. It's all about Edna. Edna, Edna, Edna. Okay. Nothing happened. Well, that button advances the slides during the mind mapping test. It only works while the test is running. Spurs for it. Where the hell are you supposed to be? Fuck around these people. Yeah, like a option over each one. 
Well, how do you do? We'll be grab there, mind map examined. I wonder how this new mind map for Emmett turned out. I guess we'll stick it in the slot and see what happens. That's not a great reading, but if I really want to get Emmett in trouble, I better aim for the bottom. I don't care about Trixie Trotter. Edna doesn't approve of that sort of music, but I find it very soothing. Is Emmett? Oh. Okay, all right, all right. I'm starting to see something here. I'd be careful of that if I were you. Why? Well, the rocket fuel experiment must have stripped one of the teeth in the hand crank. As a consequence, if you turn it for more than 10 seconds, it Ooh. turns out an electric shock. Shocking. Right, okay, okay, okay. So I am guessing this is going to be something similar to the rocket fuel, where I have to generate stuff during his test. Am I right? That is a cook kid. What's time. this? It's the placard we'll be putting in front of our booth at the expo. The scientist that caught Kid Tannen? A small exaggeration, but Edna says it'll attract investors. What do you think of the picture? Uh, let's be honest. You look a little constipated. What? Mm. Edna said I looked intense. Yeah, intensely focused on taking it. I get the picture. Hmm. I'll have to find a better one. Unfortunately, there's a lot to choose from. Heavy. Extremely. Mother has been rather obsessive about photographically cataloging my life. Yeah. I know what you're talking about, Emma. I know what you're really talking about. Do I need something? Hey, Emma. I've got an idea. What's what? That? Why don't I take your photo album over to Edna so she can pick out your new picture? That's a great idea. She's got a better eye for these things than I do anyway. Thanks, pal. Don't mention it. Dear God. All right. Let me put my plan to the test. If I'm going to take Emmett's mind map, I better replace it with another one. Yeah, I'm on it. Okay, okay. Um. Ew. Ew. There we go. Uh... Oh, right, it actually tells you it is, right. John Bugs Buff. All right, well, I know who you are. Okay, uh. Do we have anything? Let's do that. Ah, that smells much better. Damn right. Oh, again, again. Get a good whiff of this, Emmett. Careful. Don't let all the flavor escape. There we go. Shock treatment. No. No. You need a little shock treatment. Get you jumping like a real life wire.
That fucking stew still smell not room. Alright, who are you? Tannin. Alright, okay. He's on the green, he's on the green, okay. Keep him the green. Who you are? Let's just have a look. As a looking child, there's no, there's no such things as a looking child. I was a child once. There's no such thing as a looking child. Oh, child's fucking thousand. I was not Nothing else in the boat her either. I know what you're thinking, Emma. Have a whirl of this then, shall we? Oh, bugger. Hey, Emmett, I think your mind map test is broken. Oh, well, that switch just keeps choring out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. Mm hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, Bingo! Now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannen's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and Emmett's own machine will do him in. Okay, Emmett. Get ready to meet the new you. Hey! What? I almost left behind my mind map card. Yes. We're gonna show it off at the expo as a rare example of a model citizen. You do that. Edna kill me if I forgot that. I'm just gonna kill you she anyway. She might kill you anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. But for now, I'd better concentrate on making Emmett a slob who cheats on his girlfriend. How the hell are we gonna do this? Thanks. Hey Emmett, got a sec? Why yes. In fact, I've got several. Sixty, you might say. How soon you and Edna? What's in their clothes? Go see Frankenstein. Now what's with the new threads? Do you like him? You look like Colonel Sanders. Who? Never mind. Edna gave them to me. She says my usual clothes don't have enough zing for a public exhibition. Um. So, you and Edna, how serious are you guys? Well, we both enjoy a good joke every now and then, but I'd say on the whole we're fairly serious people. Why do you ask? No, no. What I mean is, how serious is your relationship? Oh, well, as a scientist, I can't state this with 100% confidence, but I'm provisionally certain that I'm head over heels in love. Really? With Edna? What can I say? She's my muse. In the weeks since we've been courting, she's given me so many wonderful ideas. Hmm. That does sound quite amusing. Uh, yeah, how things, How are things between you and your father? I'm kind of surprised he hasn't torn down your lab yet. Well, he's still angry with me and threatening to cut me out of his will, but I'm hoping that the civic potential of my mental alignment meter will win him over. Aha. Uh -huh. You look busy. Why don't we talk later? Sure thing. All right. Uh, is there anything uh, you follow up? What am I doing with this can of oil? Can I throw it on him? Hey, Emmett, I've got a... Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the heck? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Your, your suit's ruined. Damn. Edna's gonna be royally PO'd. Wrong. What? what? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote. So, I spent a few hours whipping up this. Whoa! What was that? A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. Damn it, you'll make a fortune. Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. 
Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Oh. Wait a minute, does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Hey, gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Emmett? Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. So you're wearing a dead man's clothes? All right, lover. All right, how the hell are we going to break this fucking thing? That cleanser doesn't seem very portable. It isn't, but this is. What's that? A perfume bottle? Yes. No. I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all-purpose cleanser. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth-destroying enzymes. Clever. I'm thinking we need to take this spray bottle perfume for a little joyride in the time machine. What the hell is that? What? Sorry, I, I thought I saw a tarantula. You've got to stop doing that, Marty. All right, I'm going to hit the road, Emmett. If I can find the axe, there we go. Hmm. <laughs> What? I was just thinking about the future. What? All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. Please let it be something about lightning. Life can be short, sometimes brutally so. So why not seize the day and grab your happiness while you can? I'm not sure I like where this is going. I was saving this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know what I want. What? Emmett, no. I'm going to ask Edna to marry me. Right now! Oh, no! Oh, right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo. It'll be much more romantic that way. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community. And I owe it all to you. You're welcome. You're really giving me too much credit. Hey, Emmett, I've got to go out for a while. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Oh, you'll be fine. Yeah, sure. I have to go show your photo album and ask her to pick out a photo for you. And there's specs out your clothes and your uh, inventions and your fucking tells you what time to pee. Alright, uh, what do I need to do now? So. Oh, I need to put this in the car. It'll be safe in there. Yeah, very, very uh, you know. Well, what's happening with this little thingamajigger thing? Doc said to tell him when the light on his diagnostic thingy went green. Is nope. it green? No green light yet. That can stupid technology. Didn't even notice this one. Furs donated by Lamont's House of Ermine. At least they're going to a good cause. Hmm. You're stuck tight in this tar. Maybe when real Doc comes back, we'll take a trip to see a dinosaur. That would be a fun movie. Press button to experience Hill Valley's primeval past. Okay, if this dinosaur is called a Tannosaurus, I'm gonna. Oh, <laughs> whew. Play a slam. Times may be hard in Hill Valley, but our present worries fade into insignificance when we ponder our Pleistocene past. Is the wolf knocking at your door? Be glad he's not a Tyrannosaurus, king of the ancient lizards. And if you find yourself drowning in debt, well, you could be drowning in something a whole lot stickier, like the Hill Valley Tar Pits. This peek into the distant past is brought to you by Lamont's House of Urban, reminding you fur is forever. Uh -huh. All right, do we need anything? That volcano looks a lot like the one I did for my seventh grade science fair. Good for you. Uh, 
They're stuck tight in this tar. Does he need something from that? I don't want to get that covered in any messy oil. Why would he need that? If this were a real diamond, I could use it to cut that in two. But it's not. Board. I'm good, but even I don't think I could skateboard on that. I was not asking the fucking skateboard on. Alright, um. Can I show her the album? I'm not sure why Trixie would want a photo album of the Brown family. I Hey, Artie. Hey, Mr. G-Man. How's the, uh, undercover operation? If everything oh, goes good. as planned, we should be wrapping things up real soon now. That's something new to well, talk to. when it's time for me to play my part, just say the word. Yeah, well, Grease is the word. So the, uh... Oh, yeah. You haven't met Grand... I mean, Sylvia yet, have you? My contact person? Not yet. Is he or she at the expo? I don't the think so, and I'm pretty sure it'll be a she. Okay. You're not gonna let Edna get Trixie fired, are you? Not on your life. She'd have to bring me a real smoking gun before I'd even think of letting that kid go. This job means an awful lot to her, you know. All right, so we gotta find a smoking gun. Hmm. I don't suppose you miss working for Kid Tannen. No surrey Bob. I don't know how I ever got mixed up with an abusive, gun-toting thug like that. He even stiffed me on overtime pay. Damn. Think the Hill Valley Expo will be a success? I don't see why not. Why shouldn't California have its own high-technology center? Mm. So you're the registration guy for the Expo? And chief accountant and paymaster. Hey, you're coming up in the world. And none of it would have happened if I hadn't responded to that subpoena. Oh, too true. Keep doing what you're doing, Grandpa. Grandpa? Uh, that's our uh, She's code name for you. Oh, ha! Funny. Cue ball. Corner pocket. Hey, pal. Oh, geez. This guy again. Funny. I was going to say the same thing. Good point. Shouldn't you be in jail with the rest of Kid's gang? I was, but then an opportunity availed itself and I... Sang like a canary. I prefer to think of it as exhibiting an admirable sense of self-preservation. Snitches get stitches. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Cause little Miss Goody Two-Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. Damn. Uh... You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Oh, do stuff tell. Stuff that curl your socks. Well, my really? socks need curling. Oh, yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just, well, it just cheeses me off, you know? It cheeses stink. Come on. Cover up, you very snitch once. So what's so, uh, toe curling about Trixie's past? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Oh, fuck. My mom saw me in my underwear. My mom came on to me. I hijacked a train. Uh, I suppose all of the above. Uh, let's see. I mean. That's interesting. That's fucking terrifying. That is embarrassing. Let's try this one. My mom saw me in my underwear. That ain't so bad. Last year? Okay, that's pretty bad. That's fucking bad. That's terrifying. All right, Junior, you win. That was pretty embarrassing. Damn right. Almost Calvin as Klein embarrassing as this. Have that that's a loose moose about this hoose. Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. 
You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Wow. Okay. Thanks. What kind of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other. It's all Greek to me. Mm. That's your teeth. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? There's nothing. Nothing. I. I. Oh, crap. Nice. What's wrong? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. How was I to know they turned my teeth green? Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Mm. Please don't rat me out the audio, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, right. pal. Hang loose, pal. You talk funny, mister. Mm. That's a good thing these things never caught on. Too true. You want one? How about an algae cake? No thanks. I'm trying to cut down. Okay. kick? How about an algae cake? Yes, I am feeling a bit peckish. Where the hell did you get that crap? The expo. I mean, I suppose this is like a, this is like a side mission. Just coming to offer people kick. How about an algae cake? Much obliged. Hmm, mm. that was different. All right, everybody's gonna have green tea for this expo. It's gonna be customary. Trixie, I want to talk to you about the moose. Do you want a cake of algae? How about an algae cake? One doesn't normally think of algae as a dessert item, but uh, what the hell? Well, it's got a very um unique flavor. Hmm. Hey. Just want to make sure. Is this you on this postcard? Yeah, that was my first photo shoot. You want me to autograph it? Absolutely. Uh, that's okay. Is that a small level? Trixie sure got some nice uh, antlers. This is definitely something Edna wouldn't approve of. Well, who gives a fuck with Edna has to say? There's a moose. There's a fucking. You're done, right? There's a moose. The British hoosh. Might as well. Nah. Nah. How about an algae cake? Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Not bad. Algae, you say? I'm going to suggest that they add that to the menu at the orphanage. She fucking would like it, wouldn't she? Doc, you want an algae cake? How about an algae cake? Yeah, that tastes exactly like the slugs I then was popping into me back in the Citizen Plus ward. Yeah, she didn't even catch on to that. Alright, I guess that's a mission done. Um. I suppose we have to show this to her to get her to sack. You might want to take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in... Oh, what have we here? Doc, avert your eyes. Oh, sir! Mr. McFly! It appears your muse has been inspiring Jesus. more than progress. Trixie? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? 
I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill Valley... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once... A loose moose? ...the winsome wench of Winnipeg. <laughs> Her past doesn't matter to... <laughs> Trixie? What is it, Audie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, right, the charter specifically easy, states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? You're firing me? I don't want to. Yeah. Take it back. Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Blame Canada. Blame Canada. Let's talk. Excellent. Hey, how'd you go? Oh, there you are. Trixie? I'll do it! I'll make that blue-nosed bitty eat her heart out! That's great! I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows but up... we gotta do it my way. Huh? I'm no good with improvising, and I ain't gonna memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Paula Maid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Doesn't involve a moose. Okay. Only, I need a few props. Please please gotta be a moose. I'm not surprised. Some furs, a big diamond. Uh -huh. It doesn't have to be real, understand? Uh -huh. That makes it easier. Moose. And something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? That's funny I mean, you should say that. Probably. Better bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? A moose? Sit back and watch the fur fly. Can I get you a moose? No? Alright, well, hold on. Let me uh, give you the photo album here. I brought him its photo album like you asked. Let's see. Gee, he's not bad looking. In an egghead kind of way. Remember, I don't want you seducing him for real. He ain't a cradle robber, kiddo. How about the furs and the diamond? I'll get him to you. I'm working on the furs of that little kid, but I'm cough it up. Alright, uh, here's the prism. Diamond. Voila! Say, pretty snazzy for a phony rock. Gimme. Hey, damn's our Keep girl's best up, friend. I may take a real shine to you. I'd rather you take a fake shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. Now bring me those furs and we'll be in business. I'm trying. Give me the fucking furs, will ya? They're stuck tight in this tar. Oh. Christ. I don't have anything. Christ on a freaking tortilla. All right, Doc. And uh, do we have anything that I don't know? I've got her neutralized for the moment. How's the plan proceeding on your end? Uh, we're getting there. Uh, the lights not green yet, but and uh, but young and Edna. Oh yeah, you're getting married, by the way, Doc. Horrible news, Doc. Emmett's gonna ask Edna to marry him tonight. But that's not how it happened. She didn't get me to propose until much later, that night at the lake. I don't want to know. Something I said must have caused him to move up the timetable. Great Scott! This time travel business is trickier than I imagined. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Edna made a point of saying that teenage you look great in her grandfather's suit. I, uh, I did cut a fine figure in that suit. She hated it when I got it dirty. We did get dirty, but then you had to go and fucking pull a solution out of your ass. All right, uh, and your criminal. We got that sorted. Is it true that you only had eyes for Edna? At that time, I'm afraid so. I always tended to idealize the opposite sex. I was educated in a boys' school, and Jules Verne was always a little sketchy with female characters. You never got time for a therapy session, Doc. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's see, lose a suit, let's get that in your criminal, uh... About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? 
The chronometric analyzer? Hey, that thing. Yeah, the light's still red. The analysis can take a while. Be sure to let me know when the light turns green, and I'll take her out for another test run. Good news. I think Trixie's gonna go along with my scheme. Pursue whatever strategies you like, but please don't tell me the details. Oh, I know. Let's see, uh... Let's help about my plan. Oh, we can't tell about the plan, so, uh, about Edna. What about Edna? It's about Edna. Don't worry. She's not going anywhere right now. That's good, but... She's fucking routine. Can you tell me anything about her? What were you guys talking about? Are you starting to like her again? Oh, please God, no. She isn't starting to get under your skin, is she? Heavens no. The memory of her older self wheeling me into the reconditioning chamber is just too strong. Good to hear. The younger version is decidedly more attractive, though. Fair enough. Okay, uh, what are we talking about? What are you two talking about, anyway? It's a private matter. I promised I would keep it between us. For the present. Really? Alright, uh, let's see, um... Well, I guess I can't do anything until... On another I... subject. Less distasteful, I hope. Well, I can't do anything. Alright, so... I can't do anything until this light turns green. Nope. No green light yet. Come on, you fucking... Okay, uh... Why did you have to go and fire Trixie? You think I wanted to? It's illegal for me to knowingly hire a Canadian for the job, and I don't want to be in trouble with the law again. Keep your eyes open for Sylvia. What should I do when I meet her? Just let nature take its course. Think the Hill Valley Expo will be a success? I don't see why not. Yeah, we got that one. That's all for now. Over and out. Okay, so... I use that to Damn its formula. Still as good as new. Never know when I might need to get some sticky substances out of some clothes. Ah, could that be used to get the fur? First you get the fur, then you get the woman, then you get the plow. Yes, there we go. It's a good thing I did this before Emmett's 12 hour time limit, where the cleanser might have dissolved the fur. Yeah. Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? I'm thinking you. Alright, hold on, let me put that back just in case. Talking to Trixie. Um. Knocks off a cutscene. Is it green yet? Hey, the light's yes, green. Thank that means Doc could take the DeLorean out again. Thank God, Doc. I need to talk to you. Excuse me, my dear. Yes? About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Uh, that thing. Yeah, the light's gone green. Wonderful. If the systems check out, I should be able to take it for another test run. I've got to run a short end, Miss Strickland. I suggest you think about what I've been saying. Oh, I will. Yeah, leave town. Don't ever come back. That's if travel's back. Well. When did you land this time? Nine hours and 37 minutes ago. Ouch. Damn. Frankly, it started to get a little difficult to avoid running into myself. Still, the time jump yielded some interesting new data on the flux field. I'll run some more tests and we'll see what we find. Wait, he said nine hours. That's supposed to be 12 hours. Shit. So we have to wait for him to do another one, do we? Doc's trip aged the formula a few hours. Not enough to turn it to acid, though. Oh.
Are these furs good enough? Well, they're a little ratty, but, uh, they'll work. So, you got everything you need for your big scene? Everything except for your friend. Emmett Brown, redheaded guy about yay high. He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. Not for long, he won't. Sounds straight. Great. Happy days. Alright, well that's enough for me. If I run around here trying to find... Yeah, trying to find the other woman and trying to uh, discover uh, brain maps and flipping moose pictures and algae cakes and spray bottles. Dear Jesus. Anyway, when we come back, I am assume that we will continue on with our plan to break up Edna and Emmett and... I don't know what way it's going to work out, but hopefully it'll work out with them breaking up. It needs to work out with them breaking up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part. As always, hit the like button, drop a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click the bell for notifications on more videos coming out on the channel. And me, Marty, and Trixie, the moose lover, will see you in the next part. Take care. See you again.